Hi guys, it's Riley and I am back today with another Adri video for you all. I decided since I'm having kind of a funky day that I was gonna do something a little bit more simple, a little bit more easy. So I have another Q&A for you. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some unique Adri questions and I am going to go through them with you today and answer them. So without further ado, let's get started. What were your initial thoughts when recognizing what you were partaking in was a regression? I think that is a really, really good question. I have regressed for the majority of my life, probably since I was around six or seven years old, but I didn't know that there was a term for it or anything like that until I was about 13, 14. And once I found that there was a term for it, it was just like, wow, oh my goodness, everything is making sense. It really made me feel less weird and less alone because I saw that other people did the same thing. So my initial thoughts on discovering the Adri community were like, wow, this is really, really awesome. I thought I was the only one. Do you have any tips for anyone starting an age regression channel on YouTube? I do, I have a few tips for you. Biggest tip number one, be yourself. Make the kind of content that you would want to watch. That is the kind of content that people will like the most and people will just naturally gravitate towards it if you are being genuine. That's what I have done on all of my channels throughout the years and clearly on this channel it has definitely paid off and you don't have to take it too seriously either. You don't have to have this fancy equipment, a good camera, lights, all that stuff. You can make high quality videos just filming and editing on your phone. So you don't think that you need to have everything perfect right away. You are going to be awkward when you first start your channel if you've never done YouTube before. That's just how it is. If you go back and look on my main channel at the first couple months of videos I was posting, I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know how to film, I didn't know how to edit, and it does take time to learn those things and kind of get into your own groove. So let yourself have that experimental time when you are trying to figure out what you really want to do with your channel and what you really want to do with your videos and the kind of content you want to make. It does not have to be perfect. YouTube is a learning process. You will get more comfortable with it as you go on. Now it's almost second nature to me to just sit in front of a camera and talk. I really love it. It's something that I find so fun. But I was so, so, so awkward when I first started it. And I didn't start this channel until after I was already doing YouTube for about two years. If you could summarize your age regression in four items or objects, what would they be? I would probably have to say onesies, passies, diapers, and jumbo crayons. I feel like those four things are things that are involved in my regression more often than anything else, and I love them all very, very much. What are some of the bad parts of regression? Is your pure regression always happy? I regress both purely and impurely. If you don't know what that means, I do have a video all about impure regression, which you can go check out. So my impure regression is usually pretty sad and I talk about it more in that video. But when I'm not impurely regressed, my regression is more neutral to happy. Don't get me wrong, sometimes it's very, very happy, but other times I'm just, I'm just being myself, I'm just existing, and it's nice. A lot of my regression isn't necessarily good, but it isn't necessarily bad either. It's just, it is what it is. How much Adri gear do you own in general? This question is very difficult for me to answer and I really don't want it to come across like I'm bragging, but you guys have to understand I have been part of the regression community for a very, very long time, so I have been accumulating things for years. I have over 70 pacifiers, over 60 onesies. With all the diapers I probably have in this apartment and in my storage unit, it's got to be about 150 or maybe a little bit more. I have a buttload of stuffed animals. The majority of them are thrifted. I have loads of different movies and regular toys. 
and I love them. <laughs> I love them all. And the coolest part about it is that like everything that I have, I use. You don't need a lot of items to regress, but I find that the items that I do have definitely help me regress. And a lot of them have also been gifted to me by kind subscribers or followers and friends. And I am absolutely beyond grateful for all of that. I really, I really don't deserve it. And I feel very, very lucky to have what I have. Colored pencils, crayons, or markers? Crayons. Yes. I mean, my username on everything has crayon in it, so. Will there ever be a stuffy video where we get to see all your stuffies? I think once the regression room is finished and I have all the stuffies out of my storage unit too, you will absolutely get a stuffy collection video. Have you ever introduced someone else to Adri and got them obsessed with it? I think I have. And the reason I'm saying I have is because I get messages pretty regularly of people saying, oh my gosh, thank you for your channel. Like you, I found age regression through you and I love it. And I think that's so freaking cool. It is amazing to me that my channel or my accounts could introduce people to regression and that it helps them. So I'm gonna say yes, I think I, I've gotten some people, I've introduced some people to it and they're really, they really like it now. Have you ever slipped into Little Space just for a picture or video? Yes, I have. It's very interesting because when I film for my regression channel, for this channel, it's almost like a flip of a switch. Like I turn the camera on and I immediately start feeling small. It like filming videos is one of my favorite things to do when I'm regressed. I enjoy it so, so, so much and it really brings out my genuine regression. And I obviously still regress off camera. I regress off camera a lot, but every time you see me on camera like this, or in a regress with me video, I am 100% regressed. And it's almost involuntary because it's like, when I, when I sit down to film, it's just, it happens. I don't have to force it at all. And it's really, really cool. For pictures and stuff though on Instagram, I usually tend to be regressed first and then just take a picture of whatever is happening within the regression. If you could choose only sippies or baby bottles, which would you pick? I would probably pick sippy cups, but I am very specific because I have both sippy cup tops and bottle tops that fit large mason jars and that is what I like to use. Regular size baby bottles are perfect for things like lemonade or juice, but the drink that I drink the most often is water and I drink a lot of water, so I don't like having to get up every 15 minutes to refill my water cup. So I really like using the big 32 ounce mason jars with the sippy tops and bottle tops. Can someone involuntarily regress during a bad time if they started regressing voluntarily? Yes, absolutely. I know a lot of people that started regressing voluntarily and then later on experienced involuntary regression. That is totally normal. You can regress both ways and that's just that. Like you can regress both ways and if you're mostly involuntary, there are times where you can regress voluntarily and if you're mostly voluntary, there are times when you can regress involuntarily. It really just depends on the person. How did it feel to wear diapers for the first time? It was awesome. I had been considering wearing diapers for a few months at that point. I was just really, really nervous to take the plunge and buy some, but I put it on and it was like, I would wanted it for so long and it was just so comfortable and comforting and it really, really enhanced my regression. And from then on, it became normal for me. Is there any difference between your system kids and you being regressed? There is a big difference. My sis kids are kids. They are kids. I am an adult who regresses to a child's mindset. So there are just some general differences there, but this is kids also have their own set of like interests and clothes that they like and things that they enjoy doing that are different from my favorite things. I don't want to go too much into detail on them on YouTube for their own safety, but there are definitely differences. That is about all the questions that I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, you can subscribe to my channel because I try to post new age regression videos over here a couple of times a week. 
but I also have a main channel and a vlog channel that are linked down in the description if you want to check those out. If you want to take part in Q&As like this, you can follow me over on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils, or over on Twitter, which is at crayon kiddo. I also have a Ko-Fi linked down below if you feel called to support my content, where you can tip me for just the price of a coffee. I love you guys a whole heckin' lot, and I will see you soon. Goodbye!